Well, a story you saw first on WBZ, a Haverhill School Committee member accused of indecent assault on a minor. WBZ's Beth Romano is live for us in Haverhill tonight. Beth, you spoke with the suspect and she claims it's a big misunderstanding. Well, that's how she tried to explain it, but she didn't go into any further detail. But the teen told police he felt shocked and violated. It happened outside this 7-Eleven in Haverhill, right in Ferguson's own neighborhood. And now the school committee is considering its legal options. It was a misunderstanding. I don't want to talk to you. Thank you. What was the misunderstanding? I'm not talking. Haverhill School Committee member Cheryl Ferguson calling it all a misunderstanding as she faced an indecent assault and battery charge on a person 14 or older in court today. A teen says she groped him from behind as he stood outside this 7-Eleven wearing a Halloween mask just before 8 o'clock last night and then allegedly touched his chest when she reappeared after going inside to play Kino, according to police. And that's very concerning, you know, when especially an elected official, you know, doing that to a, a minor. My name is Cheryl Ferguson. I'm running for school committee in Ward 3. She's currently serving her first term on the Haverhill School Committee, but it's not her first brush with the law. According to court documents, she's previously been arrested for driving under the influence, driving with a suspended license and unregistered vehicle, and assault and battery in a domestic dispute. The school committee plans to address the case. To try to resolve uh, any issues and build confidence within the community with regard to the school committee. Should you be allowed to remain on the, no. on the board? You don't think you should be? No. Ferguson told WBZ-TV outside court she doesn't agree with the charge, but she's been outfitted with a GPS monitoring device and faces conditions. Stay away, no contact from the victim in this case. No contact with minors under the age of 18. The school committee says as an elected official, her future will be up to voters, but members are considering their legal options. We do have to be concerned with uh, her presence around minors, and that's something that I'm sure we will address uh, with legal counsel. Now, the mayor of Haverhill tells us she will restrict Ferguson's access to any school property in the city. Ferguson faces a curfew from 9 o'clock at night until 5 o'clock in the morning until another court date in December. Reporting live from Haverhill, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.